it's been a while since I've shown any charity shop CDs, mainly because um, of the pandemic. I haven't been able to get to charity shops, but now they're open and uh, I'm able to go shopping again. I've managed to fill a box with stuff, so I'll show you what I have. Uh, in fact, the first couple of things were um, being given away during the pandemic, people just leaving things on walls and outside houses, which uh, became a bit of a, a trend. So um, first of all was Amy Winehouse and uh, the classic Back to Black, which I, I'd heard but never had before. So quite nice to have that. And from the same wall on the same day, Natalie Imbruglia, Glorious, the singles 97 to 07. Uh, I was always quite fond of Torn, so I'd be quite curious to hear some more stuff by her. And then in a, a skip of all places, I found a couple of cassettes. There was Heaven 17, How Men Are, from 1984. Um, originally 5.99 in HMV. And Grace Jones, Night Clubbing. So quite pleased to find those in a skip. There was some other stuff that was uh, less interesting and also which had the boxes but not the tapes inside. Um, and I found Lucinda Williams, uh, Good Souls, Better Angels. This only came out last year, so an incredibly new album to be in a charity shop. Really interesting stuff. There's a song about Donald Trump, um, which is, is quite powerful. Um, Bob Marley, Exodus, classic album um this is culture so it's more reggae i'm uh, not sure how you pronounce that come combolo combolo um not sure what year it is uh, something like 1979 um adrian sherwood never trust a hippie uh this was just 50p i, I don't really like the title or the artwork um not very promising but i have enjoyed his stuff in the past so worth a go for 50 pence daft punk and homework from 1997 about time i caught up with some daft punk i think uh first of three pet shop boys albums this is disco 2 um remixes and and so on uh, so it's a co compilation of different mixes um, by the same group, Fundamental, their best album in over a decade, said the NME. And also Pet Shop Boys and Yes, originally 9 Um Donald Fagan, The Night Fly, never heard any solo Donald Fagan. Not sure what that will be like. Judy Collins and uh, an album called In My Life based on the uh, cover of the Beatles song. It's also Bob Dylan cover, um, Leonard Cohen cover and all sorts of uh, other sort of standards of the time. Linda Ronstadt and Emmylou Harris, Western Wall, the Tucson Sessions. Um, I don't know what this will be like. I heard their album with Dolly Parton called Trio, um, so it could be good, it might not be. A bit of Britpop, The It Girl by Sleeper, again 50p, didn't care for them greatly at the time, but with a few decades of hindsight, probably worth a go. Um, presumably donated by the same person next to it on the shelf, Embrace and The Good Will Out. Um, surprisingly enjoyable album actually, some very strong songs on that. Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here from 1975, um, have already got this but it's a slightly different version so happy to have it again. Um, the Pretenders and Get Close, likewise I've got this but this one has got extra tracks. Um, 
so worth having for that for 50 pence uh don't often find this group in the charity shop weather report and heavy weather bit of desperate marketing there an absolute fusion classic great digital remastering super sound um some nice uh, sleeve notes then uh Spiritualized, The Complete Works, Volume 2. This is a um, two-disc anthology of kind of B-sides and rare tracks. Unfortunately, uh, Volume 1 was nowhere to be seen. Comes in quite an interesting box. It's a plain white box. Nothing on it at all. Jackson Brown. I'm Alive, this is from 93. I like his 70s stuff. I haven't really heard anything later than that, so I'm, I'm not sure what that will be like. Worth a go, though. Coco, Rosie, and um, The Adventures of Ghost Horse and Stillborn from 2007. I've heard some of their other stuff and found it quite intriguing. Cowboy Junkies, Lay It Down. Um, it's a group who actually recently started buying their albums, so I was really pleased to find this one for 50 pence. Uh, I don't think it's regarded as one of the best, but um, always interested to hear their stuff, particularly because I just love um, the singer's voice. REM document, another classic album, includes uh, the one I love. And um, it's the end of the world, as I know, and I feel fine. And then just to end with some compilations. So I really like this series called Back to Mine, which is kind of mix mixtapes, mix CDs by um, artists where they choose their favourite songs. So you always get some interesting selections on these. Um, sort of worth hearing just where, even if you don't like the artist selecting, it's just worth hearing a good a good mix album really um and this one this was just 50p for three discs this is kind of amazed by this called right now atlantic club soul and deep cuts enormous amount of material on this um i mean it's just ridiculous that you can get all of that for 50 pence it's such a good bargain and then finally this was the most expensive but you can understand why this was two pounds but it's 10 CDs, uh, doo-wop chart busters, uh, pretty much all the doo-wop you're ever going to need. Interestingly, the back cover doesn't have space to list everything, so it, just, it lists a few tracks and then says, and more, put on each disc. Um, the real test for me was, did it include Sea of Love by Phil Phillips and the Twilights? And uh, yes, it does, so can't really go wrong with that so that's it what i've been picking up in charity shops over the last few weeks